I went to go put my tag away, but then when I, when I came back, he, there was no sign of it. Nothing, and not a sound. There was nothing. All right, um, we will be searching um, for your horse and the other horse. Um, I'll be back if I have any news. All right. Thank you. Stephanie, I'm so sorry. Stephanie is not happy. Yeah. He's brand new. I like just got him like three months ago, two months ago. Probably longer than that, but you know, still not great. Yeah, it's definitely not great. Hello everyone. Stephanie, we have come to interview you about you getting very first in, you know, overall. Thanks, but I don't really feel like doing it for you today. <laughs> Why not? Of course, you haven't heard it. Um, well, not last night at the end of the show. Um, Prince was stolen, and I have no idea where he went. You're kidding. You know, I used to ride a long time ago, and... My horse was stolen, and we, we've never found her again, but I definitely wish I could have seen her again. Really? Yeah, it's definitely not the greatest feeling ever. Okay, well, do you want to interview about anything else? We really need to get this in the papers. At least, maybe tomorrow. It's probably the due day. Okay, sure, I'll do it. Might make me forget about what happened. Yeah, alright. So, um, you just stand there. Um, girls, would you mind, you know, clearing out? And we'll get a picture of you. Alright, James, so right here should be good. Alright, um, so Stephanie, remember to smile. Act like you're happy. I know it's, it's probably probably not that happy right now that you know what happened but just it's happened to me before and I know it's not the greatest feeling so just try to act happy okay all right I'll try all right James in three two one perfect all right so now that we have the picture Stephanie, would you mind, you know, if you had any strategies, would you mind, you know, telling them to us so that we could put that in? Uh, I guess. I mean, there wasn't really a strategy or anything. It's just me and Prince have been, you know, we were working on it for a long time, um, you know, since I got him. And I guess I, all my friends say that I'm a really good writer and I'm the best writer here. I don't know if that's really true. I think it's just kind of stuff that I've learned since I started writing, which was when I was two, I'm pretty sure. I started writing Western and I didn't like it very much. It just wasn't my style. I didn't like how big the saddle was, how heavy it was. So I changed to English. Um, yeah, it's probably just skill, honestly. <laughs> I'm not trying to say anything bad, but I've just gotten really good at writing since, you know, I started. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Um, do you have anything else? Uh, I don't think so. There wasn't really much to it, except we've been training a lot for it, so it might just be, it might also be that we were training really hard on it, but I, I don't really know what to tell you. All right, well, this is enough. I'll leave you guys to it. Um, James, let's go. All right, Stephanie, well, are you up for that lesson on wonder? Yeah, at least I still have him. He's a great horse. <laughs> All right, yeah, you go get him tacked up. Wonder, come here, boy. Good boy. All right, let's go. Hey Stephanie, are you going to be in the lesson today? Yeah, I am. Are you? Is Emma and Chloe? Yeah, they are. You all uh, talked up? Yeah, let's go. 
All right, everyone. So now that uh, you're all here and warmed up, um, we're gonna get started. So um, I've told all of you guys that today would be a flat lesson because the ground is all frozen. So today we're gonna be working on our trots and keeping your horses focused on cantering. All right. All right, so first we're going to trot over these trot poles that I've laid out. So yeah, who wants to go first? <laughs> I will. Come on, my boy, let's show them what we've got. That was a beautiful trot, Chloe. Nice job. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> All right, Chloe. Who wants to go next? All right, so now that everyone has done that line and I've cleared it out, you guys are going to form a line and we're just going to start with trotting around the arena. Uh, why don't I have to be last? All right, um, now pick up your trot, everyone. All right, great job. Now let's get into cantering. Wasn't that a great lesson today? Yeah, it got my mind off of uh, Prince <laughs> until now. Stephanie, don't worry. Trust me, we're gonna find him eventually. It might take a little while for the police to find some evidence or something, but trust me, we're gonna find him. Yeah, I hope so. All right, well, I better get unpacking because my mom's gonna be here in a little bit. Yeah, same. And Wonder's probably getting cold. Yeah, so center. Hello, Stephanie. Thank you so much for being here early. No problem. Well, um, as you know, yesterday, yesterday's interview was about the show and how you got first place. Congratulations, by the way. Um, and I'm really sorry if it hurts you to bring it up, but I was wondering if maybe today um, you would want to um, have an interview about Prince, maybe? And of course, if you're up to it, it's fine if you aren't. I guess it'd be fine, because then people might be looking for him. Okay, thank you so much. I know it hurts. One of my, my best partner in life was stolen. Um, but I just want to thank you so much, because I know how much it hurts, because I, I lost my best friend, and then I haven't seen her since. Yeah, it definitely hurts. So first, um, of course, just like for details, just so that people might be looking for him, um, you can tell me what his markings were. I didn't really get a good look at him, or obviously he's your horse, so you know what he looks like. So what are his markings? Well, I mean, he's completely back, so I, I'm not sure if there's much of, uh, details. There's not very many details. He's all black. Um, last time I saw him, hopefully the Steelers that took him um, didn't take his braid out, but he has a running braid in his mane, um, if that's still in. Alright. And his halter and blanket were yellow, but I'm not sure if they like switched out to be a darker color or something. Maybe they did. I'm not sure though. All right, thank you for this information. We will be sure to put it in the newspapers. And we have also done a story about Gucci. Um, you know, your friend's horse that got stolen. But yeah, um, thank you for all this information. We'll be on our way now. All right, thanks Maggie for trying to help. No problem. All right, James, let's go load all this stuff up. That's so cool how you get to be in a newspaper. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but, um, I've not really told anyone, any of my barn friends or anything, but, um, a long time ago, I think it was five, um, I was leasing a horse at my old barn in Illinois, and, um, it, it was Oli's horse, but I still loved him so much. Um, I forget what his name was. It was Stuart. Um, 
he was such a pretty guy. He was a gelding. Um, he was a dapple gray. He was so pretty. Stuart, my boy. We did so many competitions together, and then one day I went to the barn to ride him because I had a lesson and stuff, and I was I was going to spend the whole day there, but um, I went there to figure out that the night before, um, oh, he, he was stolen. I guess it was his first night in the field because he had just gotten switched to a night turnout because usually he would be on a day turnout, but I guess they just switched it to a night turnout in his paddock. So that one night, um, he got stolen and he was only a lease horse and I felt so bad because um, he was such a cute little boy and he's still stolen, I'm pretty sure. Um, but he was just a lease horse, so, and Prince was actually your horse, so I can't imagine how much you might be hurting right now because when he was, he was my lease horse and I, I can't tell you how sad I was to figure out that he had been stolen and I would probably never see him again and um, I, I haven't seen him since. Oh my god, Macy. I, I, I've never, I, why haven't you told me that? I don't know, I just don't really like to talk about it because he's probably not even found yet because, well, my mom, she still texts the, she still like calls, like we're still friends with the barn owner and my old trainer and stuff and a lot of times we've asked and um, he's not found yet <laughs> and I'm just hoping that someday because we go to Illinois a lot to go check up on them because we were there for a long time but I'm hoping that one day he'll be back there and I'll get to see him again I guess yeah I'm just hoping that I get to see Prince again because I, I just got him and that's not the only reason that he, he's he's really special to me yeah um Anyways, um, away from this subject, um, so what do you say we do a bit of spying? Spying on who? Well, I've noticed that Maggie and James, I mean, really, since the first day since Gucci was stolen, they've been acting kind of strange. I mean, nobody's noticed it, but, you know, I have a sixth sense of this kind of stuff. <laughs> sixth sense, really? You just like to be sneaky. Yeah, well, whatever you want to call it. What do you say? I mean, um, yeah, their truck is still here, so why don't we sneak into their bed of the truck and we see where they're going. Okay, really? I know that's probably, like, illegal or something, but really, I don't care anymore because I just want to see my prince boy again. Yeah, alright. Um, I have a plan, so when we get in there, Wherever they're going, we're going to hop out and just kind of follow them around, okay? Alright, let's go. Alright, James. Have you put everything in there? Are you ready to go to our reservation? Yes, let's go. Alright.